the 16 colossi in Shadow of the Colossus were supposed to represent only two-thirds of the game. According to the official art book and to some members of Team Aiko, there was eight more giants to defeat that were deleted in the final release. In this video, we are going to highlight each one of these colossi and know why it didn't make it in the final game. The PlayStation 2 is notorious for having a huge library with all kinds of games, from action adventures to JRPGs. Every gamer was sure to find his favorite genre on this console, but none of these games are similar to Shadow of the Colossus. The spiritual sequel of Aiko offered a simple but unique gameplay based only on exploration and the series of epic boss fights. And that's it, no regular enemies, no NPCs, no side quests, no weapon upgrades, no nothing. It's just you, your faithful companion and a huge empty world inhabited only by some small animals and 16 hidden colossi. I said 16 but believe it or not, the original number that the game creator Fumito Oda had in mind was 48. However, this number was quickly cut in half early during the development for obvious reasons. It's just not doable. After that, the work on the Colossi was the first thing done, but again, the team estimated that this number was too high and could affect the pace of the game, so they reduced that number to 16, leaving 8 giants behind. As described by the official art book, they were already fully made in 3D and had prototype names given to them by the developers. Some of these new giants share similar features with those in the final version of the game. So, without further ado, let's take a closer look to each one of these abandoned colossi. First, we have Devil. As the art book describes it, it was an extremely small colossus. The player had to defeat it by menacing it with a bow, then drawing closer while hiding in the grass and attacking from behind. I imagined the battle with Devil to be fierce. The player would hide in the grass and jump on its back. Next is Griffin, which the player was meant to defeat it by riding aggro and taking advantage of its weakness, fire. According to early sketches, the drawings are relevant and need to be redrawn and that they will act as obstacles. It also states that the wings are for decoration. According to some rumors, it took a while to finally get on the Colossus back and it was pretty easy to fall off. This is the reason it got scrapped, as it got frustrating and repetitive to keep getting on its back after falling off, which apparently took a lot of time. Monkey, as the designers nicknamed it, is an unused Colossus that hung from the ceiling and the player had to defeat it by dropping it to the floor. Monkey was fought in a cave-like area where it would hang on to stalactites as shown in early sketch designs. It is likely that Monkey would either attack the player by letting stalactites fall or by dropping itself on the player. There is also the possibility that Wonder had to shoot the stalactites Monkey was hanging on to make it drop. In number 4, we have the most original colossus in my opinion. Phoenix is a creature with a body weathered in flame. The player could defeat it by plunging it into a lake. Also, aggro seems to be crucial for this puzzle, as we can see in the screenshots. This indicates that Wonder was not able to climb its body straight away. According to an old team Ico Gamers blog post, Phoenix was removed for being overpowered and also because it required a huge arena. The fifth removed colossus is rock. Its head detail resembled that of a frilled lizard. Its wings seem thin and leathery, like that of a bat, and has a very long neck. Rock was fought in a desert-like landscape and seems that, in addition to aggro, the bow and arrow were necessary for defeating this foe. According to an old team Ico Gamer blog post, Rock was scrapped because the puzzle against it was very much like the ones against the 5th and 13th Colossi and because of some trouble with collision detection. Next is Sirius, a board-like colossus with about the same size as Celosia, but unlike the latter, Sirius had a little body armor, meaning that its weak spot was constantly exposed during the battle. The player could not defeat this fast and aggressive boss without getting on Agro's back. Sirius would chase the player at high speed. The main obstacle of fighting this colossus was not removing its armor, but simply getting on its back. The art book says that some rock monuments were meant to be used in the fight with Sirius. Although the fight was scrapped, these monuments are still present in the final game. Spider, as the developers called it, is an abandoned colossus that looked like daddy long legs. To defeat it, 
the player had to ride aggro and cut through all its six legs which would have destroyed its posture and caused it to fall then the player would run up to where spider fell down and be able to jump into its open mouth and stab its major sigil this probably had to be repeated at least once in an interview with Fumito Oda about the removal of spider from the game he stated Spider was meant to be defeated by slashing it with your sword while riding aggro, but that would have required us to put a special motion just to battle this colossus, so I didn't think it was very elegant. Last but not least is Worm, the most mysterious colossus in this video. According to the art book, the flower bulb like section was its weak point and that's pretty much everything we know about it. Some rumors say that this colossus was removed for being too powerful and because it required a huge arena to be able to dodge its attacks. Now that would make an incredible epic fight in my opinion. And those were the 8 unused colossi that we never had the chance to encounter in the main game. The only question that remains, are we going to see any one of them in the PlayStation 4 remake? it would be really nice to include them in the main game, even if it's just as side quests. The game trailers didn't mention anything related to them so far, which is not very reassuring. I mean, it would be very lazy from Sony to ignore them once again. I can understand their absence in the PlayStation 3 HD remaster, since it's basically the same game with a higher resolution, but this time, we are talking about a complete remake from the ground up. It would be really disappointing if the remake has only graphic enhancement to offer compared to the original game. Or maybe Sony is planning to present them in future DLCs, and I'm not sure what to think of that. I'll be happy to read your opinions in the comment section. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and to hit the subscribe button for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching.